Hello everyone, and welcome to the Big One class. As we all know, early bank transfers require handling fees, which are often imposed in proportion to the amount transferred. Due to currency barriers and foreign exchange regulations, it will take several working days for cross-border transactions to be completed. In addition to the payment of handling costs. However, in the blockchain era, these hurdles and rules will no longer exist. Users merely need to send a gentle transfer request, and the account will be available within an hour. So, how does the blockchain transfer fee work? BTC Network Transfer The earliest Bitcoin network transfers were charged by bytes. BTC Miner Fee equals fees asterisk site. Bitcoin transfers are transfers from one Bitcoin address to another Bitcoin address. In the actual transaction process, if a wants to transfer money to B, the block containing the transaction will be broadcasted to all users in the blockchain. On average, miners pack unaccounted transactions in the Bitcoin network into a block every 10 minutes, which completes a confirmation. After six confirmations, the transfer will be considered irreversible. Therefore, the transfer fee here is actually the remuneration paid to the miner for bookkeeping. A transaction is 250 bytes or more and the handling fee is generally 0.00010.0015 bitcoins. The capacity of one block of bitcoin is 1 millions, and one block can only process about 7 transactions per second. Therefore, transactions on bitcoin are very congested and slow. In order to obtain priority accounting rights, it is usually necessary to pay more fees. ETH Network Transfer Ethereum transfers are calculated based on the consumption of gas. ETH miner fee equals gas limit asterisk gas. Price. Like BTC, ETH transfer also requires payment of blockchain miners fees. The difference is that the transfer of Ethereum is said to consume gas. And this value is determined by the gas price and the gas limit consumed. The number of gas limits is generally determined according to the content of the ETH smart contract. Therefore, the higher the gas price set by the initiator, the faster the transaction initiated by it can be packaged. However, the ETH gas can be returned if it is not used up. EOS Network Transfer Unlike BTC and ETH, EOS transfers are almost free. The EOS transfer process consumes certain network bandwidth resources and CPU computing resources. However, both net and CPU are renewable resources and users can obtain them by depositing EOS. The storage of EOS account information and smart contract execution information requires running memory resources. RAM is a scarce resource and needs to be purchased. So EOS transfer is free. But the RAM that needs to be purchased still needs to be consumed. Traditional payment transfer systems rely on third-party institutions as credit endorsements. In the blockchain world, it is a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized transaction, which is faster, lower cost, and has greater advantages. Today's Big One class ends here. Thank you for watching. See you next time.